Hey guys, welcome back. So yes, we have another mic review. Now this is from a company called Vegway, at least I think that's how it's pronounced. Now Vegway actually made a name for themselves, making a lot of really cool portable looking karaoke systems. But obviously this is not a karaoke mic, this is a podcasting or a streaming mic. Uh, this is the Vegway VM50. And just like all my other microphone reviews, I will be actually using the mic for this review, so this entire time you can basically hear how this sounds. Uh, but also, I'm not going to add in any background music so you're not distracted, you can solely focus on how this sounds. Alright, now first of all, obviously we're talking about the unboxing. Now in the box, you do get obviously a manual to show you how the microphone works and all that. You also get a USB-C cable, or rather USB-C on one side that goes on the microphone and you get a two port on the other side so you can use either a USB-A or a USB-C. Really nice touch. Now the rest of the microphone basically just comes in one piece. You don't have to assemble anything which is pretty cool. So you just take out, you've got the pop filter, you've got the bass, you've got the microphone all assembled, all ready to go. Now at first I thought that was actually pretty cool that you don't have to assemble anything. Um, but actually, I then realized shortly after why everything's in one piece. Uh, we'll talk about that a little later on. But first up, I want to talk about the build quality. And I have to say, the build quality, other than of course the audio quality which you're listening right now, uh, it's one of its biggest selling points. It is absolutely fantastic for the price. Now, first of all, the price of this, you can actually get it for about 40 US dollars on Amazon. But for that price, you're getting basically a full metal body finish. Now, the entire thing, the microphone, the shock mount, the base is a really good solid metal, not like a flimsy metal, a really good heavy one. You do get some plastics. You had the pop filter over here is actually made of plastic. That's not a big deal at all. Uh, and obviously, the wires here for the shock mount can't be metal, so that's okay. But obviously, the whole finish has been absolutely fantastic except for one thing. Now, in front of the microphone, you actually have a dial, which is actually your gain knob. And I can't actually show you right now. Uh, I'll put in some B-roll because the mic is facing me. I'm using it. Um, but it actually has a double use. So you can actually turn the knob to obviously increase or decrease the gain on the microphone, but you can press it and you actually mute the microphone. And not just that, when you press um, the knob, it actually turns the, v the Vigue logo red so you know that it's muted. Again, a really nice feature. But obviously, that's not what I'm upset about. What I don't quite like is that the knob is really shaky and kind of loose. Um, now, having said that, I'm not sure if maybe something happened on the way to shipping and maybe that maybe got it loose. Uh, but if this is going to be the case for all the microphones, this is a bit of a letdown and something Vegway should look at for their, you know, for their future models. But other than that, this microphone, the bass, the shock mount, everything is top quality. Oh, and another thing to point out, other than obviously it being a USB microphone, now next to the USB-C port, you also have a 3.5 millimeter um, audio out for your headphones. Again, a really nice touch and fantastic considering how cheap this microphone is. Now, of course, we're going to talk about the audio quality. Now, first of all, this is a condenser microphone, not a dynamic one. Uh, however, having said that, it does have a cardioid polar pattern, which is fantastic. It's not an omnidirectional one, so it's better for uh, cancelling a bit of noise in the background. Um, but not just that, it has a 14 millimeter capsule or diaphragm. Now, talking about how it sounds, again, for that price, just 40 US dollars, I think it is absolutely fantastic, all right? Um, it sounds really good. Now, a lot of condenser mics uh, have the benefit of having a bit more high end, but then you lose out a bit on the body. But this has surprisingly good body uh, for a condenser mic, and you're not losing any of that sibilance or higher frequencies at all. Yeah, so I would say great job, Vega, on a fantastic mic, if not for one thing that really to me is a bit of a deal breaker. Now, like I mentioned earlier, uh, the whole microphone apart from the cable came in one piece out of the box. You don't have to assemble anything, which sounds great at first. But then I noticed one very interesting thing. Now, this is the first podcast or game streaming microphone that I've ever tested on a channel that doesn't support mounting it on a boom arm. And to me, like I said, that's a little bit of a deal breaker. Now, if you have the base, which again, like this, is really good, is really solid, that's fantastic. But a lot of people who do podcasting or a lot of people who stream always put it on a boom arm. Now, one of the reasons for that is that if you have the microphone on a base right in front of you, in front of your keyboard, it sort of gets in the way if you're typing or if you're gaming. But also, I'm very particular about the distance 
the mic should be from your mouth, which by the way, should be about one to three inches. Now for me, I'm really lucky. Now this table is actually motorized, so I can lower it, I can raise it, and if I want to get the height that I want, but not everyone has that. And if you don't have a way of raising or lowering the microphone, you're kind of stuck where the microphone is going to be on your desk. Now again, just to talk about the price, this comes in at about 40 US dollars that you can get on Amazon. Fantastic value, I still do think that. And by the way, the last time I checked it, you could actually get a discount on top of that just 40 US dollars. Now again, on the price, I would say just on the build quality and the audio quality alone, it is absolutely fantastic. Again, I am not convinced about this gain knob. I think it's a little too loose. Uh, that's something that Vagway should look at. Um, but the fact that you can't put it on a boom arm or a mic mount on your desk, uh, so when you stream, when you're podcasting, it's a bit of a deal breaker for me personally. But what I would say is if you're looking for a good quality budget microphone or good quality uh, USB microphone, uh, it doesn't bother you whether it's on an arm or not. It doesn't uh, matter whether it's in front of a keyboard and you're just doing it for podcasting or something like that. Then this is actually a really great buy. Uh, and again, Vigway has other microphones as well. Um, let me know if you want to test them out. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link to where you can purchase it below. Um, but yeah, a fantastic mic let down by two small things, but still really great value. All right, so that about wraps up my review of the Vagway VM50. Now, if you like this video, you know what to do, and I would love it if you would subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications on our next video. I'm JP, and I'll see you real soon.